Eagle. We copy you down, Eagle. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. In the summer of 1969, a man bearing a border reeving name walked on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. All over the world, folk were glued to their TV sets, not least here in the Muckle Toon. Fantastic, actually. No, just incredible. You know, the, the, the achievement is it's beyond belief. At that time, a Langham entrepreneur was making his own mark down here on Earth. Ian Maxwell had just opened a mill, and the moon landing gave food for thought. Being a young businessman, with a partner at the time, Molly Starr, a good, a good friend of mine, uh, thought, here's an opportunity where we maybe we can, we can get some publicity and and help business to expand and grow. So we decided to join, uh, to, uh, to design a, a tartan. How did you go about deciding on the colours? There was a, a piece of moon rock was, was on show. It was either London or Edinburgh. And I remember phoning up and asking uh, what the colours were. And they were black, brown and grey. So it's a... That's a bit of a gloomy tartan, a gloomy isn't it? Tartan. So we we uh, artistic... Uh, uh, expression there, we upped the colours a wee bit. We wanted to add an overcheck in the tartan and it was red, for the rocket flame was the, the thought behind that one. So that's, uh, that's where the colours came from. Three years after the moon landing and the lunar tartan really came into its own. Mrs. Wilkins. Neil Armstrong was on another mission this time to discover his Scottish heritage. He travelled 4,000 miles to Langham, ancestral home of the Armstrong clan, where he was given a hero's welcome. Neil Armstrong was made a freeman of the town. He and his wife Janet were showered with gifts, including the tartan designed to mark that epic journey into space. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure in calling this a hometown is the genuine feeling that I, I have among these hills, and more particularly, among these people. All the textile mills in Langham were going to present Neil Armstrong and his wife Janet with, with some suit length from reading tailors and a nice length from Arthur Bell and Sons. And we thought, well, what, we designed this lunar tart and for Neil Armstrong, I mean, let's, let's do it. Ian and his team decided to weave a shawl for Janet Armstrong. And as it happened, the mohair creation came in useful. She was, wasn't too well that day, Janet, actually. She was a bit fluey, actually, and she was feeling cold. And, so, so that's the reason why she actually took out the mohair stole and, and wore it for, for a wee bit of heat, actually. She was really cold. It was a pretty big day in London when he made a freeman of the borough. Strange enough, we were, not, we were never at the presentation. We, did, we never went to, we never asked to the presentation. So you we, made the show, we made but the you show, didn't go along. We made the room tartan, but we were never asked. Uh, and I think it was we were we were sort of young, young upstarts almost in the textile industry in Langham at that particular time. 